Hi, welcome to Project Paracord. This tutorial is for left-handed bracelet makers. If you're right-handed or would feel more comfortable using your right hand dominantly, click the link in the corner to go to our right-handed tutorial. You'll need 550 paracord cut to 7.5 feet long per bracelet. You'll also need a quick deploy jig. The link's in description for measuring the paracord. To seal the ends of the paracord, take a lighter and hold it to the end. When the paracord starts to melt on the end, squeeze it shut with a pair of needle nose pliers. With your left hand, pick up the paracord about 3 inches from the end. Take the short end and twist it counterclockwise in front of the longer end. This should create a loop. The short end should be about the length of your fingertip to your first knuckle. Take the loop with your right hand. Take the longer cord at the base of the loop and place it through the loop. Grab onto the loop that was just created with your left hand and with your right the tail. Pull these in opposite directions. The short tail should be about 1.5 inches long or about from your fingertip to your second knuckle. Take the short tail and put it back through the loop and pull to tighten the knot. The tail should be still be the same length as before. Place the jig upside down so that the title is closest to you. Place the knot on the largest gray circle and hold in place with your right hand. Take the long strand with your left hand and hold it down on the black dot on the left side of the paper and pinch this with your left index finger and thumb. Pick up the cord with your left hand and bring the long cord down to the knot. Transfer the cord to the, your left hand so that you are holding both the new loop and the knot. The loop should now be directly under the knot. Your right hand should be holding both the loop and the knot now. Place the long cord over the loop and pinch with your left index finger and thumb. Let go of the paracord with your right hand and pinch the loop and cord about one inch away from the end. Wrap the long cord around the loop counterclockwise. Make sure that the first four or five loops are very tight so your bracelet doesn't fall apart. After the first four or five wraps, place your right index finger on top of the wrapped cord and use your thumb and middle finger to guide the cord in, into place. Use your left hand to turn the bracelet. Don't use too much pressure as this may lead to your bracelet becoming more loose. Continue to turn the bracelet until you're just below the knot on the opposite end. If you still have extra cord that needs to be wrapped, do not cut it off. Instead, slide the wraps towards the end to create more room, starting from the bottom and working your way up. Do not let go of the knot and loop as this may cause your bracelet to fall apart. Repeat these steps until all of the paracord is wrapped through the bracelet.
Once you've reached the top of the loop, take the end around the knot and insert it into the back side of the loop. Pull the cord until it's just past the loop to secure it in place. To lock it in place, push up the top three wraps closest to the knot. Pull up the rest of the wraps to even out any gaps. Take the tail by the knot and insert it through the loop on the other side of the bracelet. Push up the first tight wraps to ensure that the knot doesn't slip out. If you want, you can even out the bracelet. 